Amen. Amen. Church, are you blessed? I want everybody to, if you know you have received a talent from Jehovah, if you know, if you are aware, you are among the people on earth that have received a talent. I want you to open your mouth up and begin to appreciate the Lord. If you have not received any talent, if you have not, not received any talent, forget it. But if you know, if you know, that you have received that talent. It doesn't matter whether it's 20, whether it's 10, whether it's 50. Rebabo, the Bible says he gave one, five. The other one he gave two. The other one he gave one. But if you have not received any talent, you have not received any talent. Limbo rigadore gedea mokoria. Just close your mouth. You don't need to pray. You don't need to pray. You don't need to pray. Rababa baba kure mukosi kabora ba kuskere gede. Mande igrado sheketeria mokorobo bo shikaboria. Rebaba, open your mouth and begin to pray. If you have received the talent, give me the resources to multiply my talent, Lord. Give me the resources. I refuse to leave this earth without achieving that which is your purpose. Lord, I refuse to fail you. I refuse to fail your church. I need the resources. Lord, I am here to obtain the resources that will help me to multiply my talent. I refuse to just pass through this earth. Ribako riba bobo bo shake boria. Maribo kosonto ibrege de moko ribaba. Riba baba baba ba. Whatever that will make me fail you, Lord. Whatever that will make me not to multiply my talent. Riba bo shekete ya boria. Maribe bebe koromo sika boria. Lord, I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. My life must be an example. Ori baba. Rika tore bo si paraga. Do shekete re bo si baba. Meri barogo do riba baba. Bo shekete re bo. Mande iga de re bo riba baba. I have received the talent. Lord, I will not miss you without making profit. I will not meet you on the last day without making profit. Whatever it will take me to win soul for you. Whatever it will take me to win my whole family. Oh God. I receive that resources right now. I receive such resource, oh God. Ma ebo, seketi, ma belege de mokoria, ma brikete kerege de, ma riebo koko 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 si kateya. I will not fail, oh you, I will not fail you, Lord. I will not fail you, Lord. I will not fail my generation, Lord. Ma breke kerege de, me brete mukuri makuski brege de, li babo boko romo kosu keteya baba, me riebo korogo do ika lige de. Masete ita ibaluya kuri makuya. Hey, teregede. Whatever resources that I need, I need to multiply my talent. Lord, hey, I am not. I am not meeting you without a profit. I will not meet you without a profit. I am still young, God Lord. I am still young, God Lord. Give me the resources to win souls for you. Give me the resources to make you known, oh God. In the name of Jesus. If you truly have the heart of Jehovah, you will not allow any soul to perish around you. This is CGMI Mission Month. And today is Youth Fellowship Week. I want us to make it our utmost desire our supreme task to see that people around us that do not know Jehovah, that we will make Jehovah known to them. And it's not by mind, not by power, but by the spirit of the living God. Can you open your mouth once again, so Lord, I receive the resources. I receive the grace to make you known, oh God, to the people around me, to the families around me, to the community around me. Lord, I cannot enjoy this good. I cannot enjoy this, your goodness and mercy alone. Lord, your, the two things why you created us is for us to know you and for us to make you known to people of God. Libak is secretary. He said, this is your day of your youth. Use it to win people for me. Use it before, the, 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 before the, the, your life is cut short. Every resource is so 
every resource is so God. That I need, oh God, remarkable secretariat to bring, oh God, lost souls to your kingdom. To fulfill my, oh God, ministry of reconciliation. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we have come. We have come to learn from you. Therefore, Lord, do not challenge us. Please change us. Do not, you know, Lord, we ask that, that you don't even start a process of trying to prove whether we are faithful. Because we will fail you. We are begging. The man said, when you ask, do you believe? He said, I believe, but Lord, I still have weaknesses. Help my unbelief. Lord, we are asking that you help us. We, you know, it's, it, in Australia, Lord, you know how hard it is. But Lord, we know with you all things are possible. Our desire, our craving, the craving of the youth at this moment is to affect other youth, to try to save many, O oh God, from the shackle of drug, dangerous, destructive drugs that is, money, is, is, that is attacking the youth, that to destroy, O oh God, everything that would not want the youth to succeed in their tomorrow. Lord, help us. We, we can't keep on, we can't keep on crying without a strategy. We can't keep on begging, praying without a strategy. Give us heavenly strategy. Strategies that will give us breakthrough, that will cause us, oh God, to affect the youth of this generation. Father, Australia, in Kabulia, we serve you. Australian youth, oh God, we serve you. You shall redeem, oh God, this nation. Thank you for your protection, saving us from all these suicide bombers, saving us from destroyers of life, protecting us from helping our police and administration and government to be able to do the right thing. Thank you for all these things. But Lord, we still crave, we still ask, we still, oh God, persevere for you to give us strategies to bring lost souls into your kingdom so that your name will be glorified when the righteous is in authority. The people rejoice. When the righteous, when the righteous, when the righteous are taking over, everything becomes clean and decent. Help us to come to this level as we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You put your hands together and be seated. I thank you so much for this opportunity. And uh, I've been praying after our morning service. What will I deposit in the life of these great youths this evening? Please, if the air condition is to go for you, you just up the first one, uh, the first stop one. But don't, you don't need to do it now until you're getting close and there's no remedy. Yeah? And you can share your clothes. You know, the day of Apostle, if no one have no clothes, you know, we see there are people that only have uh, tiny clothes. They don't have full clothes. You can share your clothes with them, you know? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. It's because of hot weather. That's why I, I believe. Now, I want to teach on a topic that I feel that is timely. Five qualifications for making Jehovah known. Five what? Qualifications. For making Jehovah what? No. Third ministry of reconciliation. Five qualifications. I've talked about evangelism here. Uh, three ways to, to, towards mega evangelism. Have I talked about it? That one is some completely different. Now I'm talking about qualification because in this level, you don't need to that one was a kind of mega evangelism. When you want to take up a city, you know, now that one involves containing with the spirit, with the power. The Bible says, how can you enter a strong man's house? You can remember, do you remember that? Can, how can you enter a strong man's house without, um, first of all, tying the strong man? You can't just enter Australia territory. That is why God has sent people like us as a, uh, territorial apostles, you know, like I am in Australia, I'm a territorial apostle. It's very hard for any demon to operate in my territory. Does that make sense? Yes, uh, so when he sends people like that, they, 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 they stand with God. They, they, they stand if they really know whom they are. The Bible says in uh, Psalms 49, 
verse 20, a, a man in a place of honor without knowledge is like a beast that perishes, you know? You're a beast. Do you know what a beast is? When you see a beast, you know a beast? Terror. You, you can't even come near a beast. But the Bible says there are some Christians, when they don't know whom they are, they don't know the kind of authority that God has given to them. All authority has been given unto us. And when they don't make use of it, they are like beasts. You are supposed to be ter terrific. But because you lack knowledge, people will see you as dark and bitch, they will draw your beer, slap you, bitch. <laughs> because you don't know who you are. But it's not Pastor Joseph. <laughs> Do you know when you bring yourself down and when you puff up, it's the same thing. Whom you are not, you are bringing yourself down. Say, hey, I want to be humble. No, I don't want to do this. No, 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 no. Is this, you are committing the same sin as being proud. Praise the Lord. Five qualifications for making Jehovah known. Number one, maintaining a studious lifestyle. Maintaining what? A studious lifestyle through a ceaseless prayer lifestyle. Maintaining what? A studious. What does that mean? Everyday study. That's the first qualification. How many of us want to improve on our talents? How many of us want to meet with Jesus? Multiplying our talents. How many of us do? It's not, let me tell you. I, I, the Bible says if you seek knowledge as if you are seeking for diamonds, silver and gold, you say you shall find it. And the Bible says he that found it, he gave the parable of those that found wisdom. He said they discovered the kingdom of God and they went and sold everything they had to purchase that which they have seen. It's not, it's not just, it's not something, it's not for lazy people. It's a consciousness we should have. It's not just waking up, you know, I know the Bible, I can you know, scriptures. I put on Facebook, and I said, I effectively transform and challenge more people when I'm not talking than when I talk. Very true. Very, very true. If I'm talking now, it can affect 10% or 20%. But when you see my lifestyle, when you watch and read, you know, one day, you know, we, we watch movies and people, we start digging deep about people. <laughs> they say, all you know, those things are possible. You just get every story, they start getting, ah, there was a day he wore masks, there was a day he did this, they were getting it through street track. What I pray that one day, Australia, we want to dig deep. Let them dig deep about who this Pastor Joseph is. Started from the first day I entered. I'm telling you, anyone that is digging, digging to know about me, he cannot get to 2013 without confessing and accepting Jesus Christ as his Lord and first and accept. If you get the if it is true what we see in the big in the in the movies, you start, okay, I want the data of this man from the time he was born till now. Pa, 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 pa. What this, just says from the time he came into Australia, dig here. Before you get from 2010, 2011. My work, everything, before you get to 2013, if you don't start thinking, like Apostle Paul, when he was called to a kind of uh, submit his, uh, his testimony, so that because he was before the judge, before King Agrippa, was before Felix and all of them, these are like. Obama's them, and they, I mean, Trump, Obama is, is, is God, is a history. Just, I don't know why that guy, he really angered me anyway. <laughs> he messed up. He didn't even follow like Matthew Luther King. He, 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 he destroyed the reputation of blacks. But it might not be men known, because he's, he's a good, he's, he's a trickster. Obama is a, he was, he was, he's a, he's a manipulator. So people might not see it. People that are focused on civilization might not really know who Obama was. Obama didn't follow the step of Martin Luther King that laid the foundation that brought him in. He didn't follow the step at all. He messed up. He messed up the status quo. 
So that's why whenever I don't like even mentioning his name, he's not 66. People aggregate him to be, he's not 66. 60, money is more 66 to you than Obama and than anything. So what I'm trying to say, we are talking about the people that they wanted to present uh, Paul to. They are like uh, um, all these I triple, ICCC leaders, all this stuff. But for Paul to defend his case, do you know what Felix said? When Felix listened to me, he came and said, No, 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 no. <laughs> he said, Take this man away. <laughs> he said, Paul said, Why? He said, With your story, you have almost convinced me to become a Christian. He said, My desire and my will for everyone in this room is to be like me, except for the chain. Except for the chain I'm having. See, you have, you have almost convinced me to be a Christian. He said, my desire is for every one of you in this room to be like me, except for the chain. Don't want you to be on that chain. So I'm taking, I'm, if anybody will want to dig my case in Australia and dig, the testimony from 2010 to 2013 will convince them to be a Christian. See, is this, is, is he a normal human being or superhuman being? And I've not changed my language. I've never, my language has not, never changed. That's never, you can't hear, you can never hear me, oh, it's bad, oh, this, oh, it's awesome. You know how many times Australian wise pastors have told me to stop using the word awesome. You can never be awesome. Pastors. Pastors, respected pastors in Australia. Pastor Joseph, how are you? Awesome. They will say, no, stop using that word. You can never be awesome. Be it unto you according to your faith. You can never be awesome. I can be awesome. I am among the gods of my generation. Among the gods of my generation. He says only gods can be awesome. I say I'm among them. I'm awesome. Para Baba Kushakabu. I'm not. Why? I came here to change them. I didn't come here to join them. I am a territorial apostle. I will not be judged the way they are being judged. I'm not in charge of just the church. I am in, I have an atmosphere. I'm in charge of. No demon can pass through it. No demon can succeed in that atmosphere. Give it to me, Pastor Joseph. You will know all these things on the last day. I can't. Now how will you be able? What am I doing? There are things that I need to do. God said, make sure the oil, the oil, the fire keeps on burning out. That's my job. But who will bring the resources for the fire to be burning? It's you. Qualifications. One, maintaining a studious lifestyle through a ceaseless prayer lifestyle. You will see an example. I'm going to give you an example. You might have known it or you might not have known it. Do you know among the books of the gospel, five books of the gospel, do you know there, are, there, is, um, there, are, there is one guy that wrote one that wasn't with Jesus? Do you know that? Good, good, good. This is a Bible believing church. Our Bishop Ben said that was very clear. Without the word of God, if God doesn't help you, no one can help you. So, how do you get there? It's a stronghold in time of trouble. If you don't have him, every trouble that will come will destroy you. And how do you know him? You know him through his word. His word is spirit and life. Five books of the, the uh, uh, stories of Jesus Matthew. What's the other one? Mark. Mark. Luke, Luke, John, John, it should be five. Is it four or four or five? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay, they four. The four Gospels. Are we sure? <laughs> it's making me feel. Okay, Torah is five. Torah is five. Law, the five laws. The five laws is different from the four Gospels. Now, what does that mean when we say four gospels? These are four testimonies approved by the Holy Spirit. 
that these were are really the testimonies of Jesus. Now, there was one that was that had an in-depth relationship with Jesus when he was alive. Relationship with Christ. Let me put it that way so you understand. Because Jesus was just a vehicle that Christ used to do what he did on earth. So there was one that was sleeping on his chest. Who was that? John. John. And John's testimony, John's testimony should not be taken for granted also. That's why John, John was the one, you know, you know, you know, that he, he, people that have insulted him and say he was a homosexual, they say he's John because John was. <laughs> don't mind the people, they, they, they just, John, don't be distracted by those things. If you throw stone at every dog that bark, at you, you never get to your destination. Don't worry about what people are. Let them say on the last day they will be judged by what they say. So John had 100% physically and spiritual. So John was the one that also made us understand the glory of Jesus when he It was received at the right hand. John made it very clear in Revelation. So if you follow the account of John, it's awesome. But I want to tell you, there was this one, there's this one, one person that moved me at the beginning of my ministry. He was almost, he was almost giving the report of Jesus better than John, better than Matthew, better than Mark. And it's Luke. Luke was not there. Luke was not there. Luke did not follow Jesus. Luke was not among the 12 disciples. The book of Luke. Who was Luke? Do you know his profession? Yes? Maybe a scholar. A doctor. <laughs> he was a medical doctor. But in his account, if you, if, if, have you, have you, have you, your mind gone through what I'm teaching you today? Yeah? Have you ever heard about it? That one of them that wrote the gospel was not even, I know you were in Bible school. See? Why? I'm trying to bring out the point. Maintaining his story, how did he ever get to that level? He studied. He brought the account of Matthew. He brought the account of Mark. He brought the account of John. He brought all the accounts. He studied. He studied. He studied. He studied. He studied. He studied. Five qualifications for making him know. Two reasons why you are created on earth. To know God and to make him known to others. And if you miss these two, do you know this church? We've known God. The only thing we need now, second level, making him know. You are not called to know God to go to heaven. That's not why you're called. That's not why you, God moved you to, to know him. You're not called to go to heaven. Stop being, being earthly irrelevant and heavenly relevant. Stop that nonsense. You're wasting your time. You are called first. He said in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If any man be in Christ, a new creature. And behold, all things have passed away. And everything has become new. Now you're a new creature. He said, who has reconciled us? Through his son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And has given us what? The ministry of reconciliation. Look. It wasn't among the apostles. Now let me read Luke. Let's go to Luke chapter 1 to tell you what I'm saying. Luke chapter 1 from verse 1 to 4. I read. I want to read. I read with different versions so that I understand. Listen to me carefully. Don't want to let me read. As a number of attempts has been made to put together in order an account of these events which took place among us. Are you seeing it now? What was happening in the time of Luke? The apostles will come and preach. Matthew will come and share his gospel. Mark will come and share his gospel. 
John will come and share his gospel. Peter will come and share his gospel. And those that are intelligent, the elite of the society, those that felt that they knew everything, they will say, don't mind them, they are rubbish. They are, they are, they are, they are, they are fucking rubbish. But there was somebody among them, a medical doctor, he will always say, I think this, these people are making sense. A well-read doctor among the elite of the community, when they start rubbishing what Peter, Paul, he said, no, they are making sense. You know time they were talking about healing. And you saw somebody that was, let's, 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 let's not take this for granted. This might be a better way for us to get our community healed from every disease. You know, there was a time uh, Nicodemus said to the Pharisees, in our law, we don't condemn anybody that we have not had his own testimony. He was telling the Pharisees because they wanted to call, condemn Jesus immediately without hearing his own testimony testimony. He said, in our law, we don't condemn anyone that we have not had his testimony. Do you know what they say? Are you among the Galileans too? They have brainwashed you too? <laughs> have they brainwashed you too? So when Luke was telling the elite, the scientists, when he was telling the professor, the lawyer, they were read in the community. These people are making sense. They, they look at him. Are you among the foolish people too? Church, get my message. Get it clearly. Look who will stand against us on the last day. You know what Peter said? First Peter. It should be Second Peter chapter 1 verse 8. Can somebody get it? Second Peter. If it's not Second Peter, it's First Peter. Mm -hmm. Chapter 1 verse 8. Yeah. Right. Yes. For if these things be in you, and abound. No, no, where are you reading? First Peter or second Peter? Second. It goes first Peter. Sorry. Whom having not seen he love. In whom, though now you see him not, yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable. Please now listen. Paul was talking to the people that weren't they didn't touch Jesus. They didn't see Jesus. But he saw their enthusiasm. He saw their passion in serving them. He stood and addressed them. I said, you didn't see him. We saw him. You didn't touch him. We touched him. He didn't lay hand on you. But he laid hand on us. And you have this passion. He said, great. You don't know your taste. You don't know, you don't know the blessing is going to reward you with. Who were those people? Witnesses. Look, look, a human being like us. Look at us. He said, For as much as many taken in hand. Okay, let's ask. This is very simple. Okay, now let me read another question. So many people have attempted to write an ugly account of the event that have transpired among us. Two, as they were handed down to us by those who saw them from the first, we got the information. From the first hand, people that stood before them. And we are preachers of the world. It seemed good to me, having made observation. Look at it. I have made observation. And with great care of the direction of events in their order to put the facts in writing for you. Most noble Theophilus. Church, are you getting it? He was now writing to convince the elite. He was now writing another book of the Bible. To the extent that because of his studious character, Holy Ghost said, include the writings of Luke in the Bible as the full gospel. Forget about people telling you, God has never done anything without man. It's all by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And our ability to have faith that this is Holy Spirit. There's a tiny line. And that's why people think you are foolish. Within foolishness and absolute faith towards God. A very tiny line. 
And the Bible also says, don't mind them. Don't worry. You have to be a fool if you want to follow them. Don't allow them to use the word and push you. You are a foolish man. You're the, Look at it. Look, said, I can't keep on allowing these people to ridicule the truth. It is profound. It has been tested and proved. And with all my knowledge, all my PhD, I will not allow my brothers to get lost. Look, sat down. Look at it. So that you may know the certainty of the things you have been taught. Look, let me read with King James. It makes it very clear here. That thou mayest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. Another version says, so that you might have certain knowledge of those things about which you were given teaching. I, I, am I making sense here? Maintaining a studious life through a ceaseless prayer life. Luke said, no. I'm, I, these people are saying the truth. I can't continue with my company. I can't continue with the educated and lose this. Now what did Luke do? Luke went. Got the whole information. Provided it in an understanding in the level of those that are educated. The Bible says, great, we received the word. Thank God for the word. But great, we are those that published it. Great, we are those that published the word. So look, Saddam, he read, he studied, then he paraphrased all he has learned in a way that those that are educated will understand it. And do you know what happened? Many souls were saved. The same look we are talking about. Do you know he wrote one of the greatest books of the Old Testament? God still gave him another opportunity to do more. Do you know the book? One of the greatest book, books. One of the greatest books in the Old Testament. The same root, look. It's the one that wrote Acts of Apostles. He started again. Let's go to Acts of Apostles chapter 1. Barabo Shandalabakuria. I just want to show you something. We can't keep on living like this. We need to paraphrase the message to our world. If you are with, if you are working with, if you are an actor into movie, paraphrase them. Don't change the message. You can change the method. And explain it to your team. Don't just keep quiet. If you are mom, those that are doing evil, or among the people that are drunk, change it. Use the drunkard terms. Are you getting my point now? This is our month of evangelism. Paul said I became all to all so that I'll be able to win some. Look at Luke. Luke knew. If nobody, if somebody in my level do not talk to these people, they will not believe it. Let's, look, let's go ask our apostle now. Chapter 1 from verse 1. Look at also. This was, this, these books, we had books that really are. Ah, if Luke can read the Bible and bring it to the level of his company, I will do the same. The former, let, 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 me, let me start with a simpler English. I have given an earlier account Oh, Theophilus, did you see it? I have given an earlier, this Theophilus might be like the, the leader of the gang, the leader of, so that he will publish it to them. I have given an early account, oh Theophilus, of all the things which Jesus did and of his teaching from the first. Luke was not among the disciples. The same way me and you are, we aren't among the disciples. But Luke became one of the greatest witnesses of the Old Testament. Look at it. I have given an early account, O Theophilus, of all the things which Jesus did, and of his teaching from the first, till the day when he was taken up to heaven, after he had given his order through the Holy Spirit to the apostles of whom he had made selection. 
to whom also he should, I move to King James, himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs. Proofs that can offer. You see, Luke is not saying there are proofs that the disciples are not lying. Are you understanding? Luke was authentic witness. An authentic witness. A man that had proof, just like Paul. Luke was just exactly like Paul. But Paul was a lawyer. But Luke, medical doctor. He said, by many infallible proofs, being seen on them 40 days, and speaking of the things pertaining of the kingdom of God, listen very well, and being assembled together with them, I've also assembled together with them. I didn't just do this. I also went, stayed with them. Those that saw Jesus for some. Commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. But wait for the promise of the Father, which he, which saith he, ye have heard of me. Church, listen now. What was the promise? What was the promise? What you have heard of God, Jesus. But the, the only thing is just the power has not been, they have not overshadowed you. In the day of that power, that people shall be willing. For John truly baptized with water. Luke was testifying. I have taught you this, that the era of Jesus Christ is gone. The era we are now is the era of the Holy Ghost. Luke also confirmed it in verse 5 of a couple first as of Apostle chapter 1. He said, For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Not many days hence. When therefore, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Is it now? That we are going to go to heaven. Look at what Jesus said. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the season which the Father had put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and not most part of the earth. Nine. And when he had spoken these things, why they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of the sight. Luke was also saying that he, Jesus was taken. Confirmation. Verse 10. While they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them, which were angels, in white apparel. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why standing ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as he has, as ye have seen him go to heaven. What did Luke testify here? Luke testified that Jesus was taken. And Luke also testified that he's coming back. Number one, maintaining a studious lifestyle through a seasonless prayer lifestyle. Luke did it and he was counted as he, his gospel his testimony was counted among the four gospels number two waiting you know what you have to have the mindset that you are a witness ministry of recognition means that you are a witness ministry of recognition Reconciliation means that what? That what? You are a witness. Good. Let me add it. Am I not? Ministry of Reconciliation means that you are a witness. So, the first step is study. Don't go out there. Don't think you can go out there and win so without knowing anything. You have to. Do your study, underground study. The next one is what? Waiting. Isaiah chapter 64 verse 4. You say, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. What God has prepared for those that wait upon you. Jesus asked them to wait. And they tarried. Are you getting the point now? What is number one? Maintaining a studious lifestyle through a, a ceaseless prayer 
prayer lifestyle. Number two, waiting. Number three, receiving the Holy Spirit. The Bible says as they waited, on the day of Pentecost, there was a mighty rushing wind. And that wind came. And people, look at, the, look at what happened there. Can we go to Acts chapter 2? Look at the kind of question. Look at the kind of question they were asking. I, I'll read. I'll just read. And when the day of Pentecost was full, come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And began to speak with other tongues. With other tongues. As the Holy Spirit gave them utterance. As the Holy Spirit. Not in your own way. Five. And there we are dwelling at Jerusalem. And, and there we are dwelling at Jerusalem. Jews. Devout men. Out of every nation under heaven. Now when the when this was noised abroad, are you seeing it? When this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and we are confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Utterance. Holy Ghost gave them utterance. I've heard so many people that spoke in tongues in problem. And they didn't know they communicated in the language of the person that wanted to kill them or to destroy them. You see, how did you know our language? It's happening. It's still happening up to today. He spoke to me in my language. Other people heard him speak in tongues. But the person he was directed, Holy Ghost gave him utterance. Boom. No, no, no. Who is this man? Who is this man? And they will ask him, say what you said again. He can't say it again. Because he wasn't him that spoke. It was the Holy Spirit that spoke through his mouth. So the fourth one is Holy Spirit speaking through your mouth. That's another qualification. The first one, you maintain a study of life because you have to understand your assignment as a witness. You have to understand what it means by ministry of reconciliation. When you have understood that, you have to wait. And when you wait, you will receive the Holy Spirit if you wait faithfully. And when you receive the Holy Spirit, what will happen? The Holy Spirit will start speaking through your mouth according to Matthew chapter 10, verse 19 and, 8, 19 and 20. He said, when you stand before them, don't worry about what to say. The Holy Spirit will speak through your mouth. The Spirit of your Father will speak through your mouth. And the Bible says the noise was heard abroad. The message was taken abroad. Some people, it means go out to make him known. Go out, the fifth one. Seven qualifications for making God known. Number one, don't go there without knowledge. My people are destroyed with it because of knowledge. Don't go there without knowledge. Oh, you have come to, 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 to be ambassador of Christ. The Bible says we are now ambassador of Christ in that first Corinthians chapter five. I mean, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse yes, 17 to 20. You find out. He said, you, you, have, you are now the ambassador of Christ. What is your curriculum? What is your um, portfolio? What are the things that heaven is expecting from you? As the ambassador of Christ, study. Maintain a studious lifestyle. I was telling Jimmy today, when God called me to come to Australia, I said, oh, you have, to, you have to be knowledgeable enough to be able to communicate. I had over 10,000 messages because I put all my messages, I document them. I told Jimmy, I said, I came with that message. And I told Jimmy, up to now, I have not one day gone back to those messages to choose a message to preach. The only time I went back there was when I was teaching about baptism. Why? Because I've maintained a studios life star. They are new every morning. I don't need the messages I used to walk in Malaysia to preach to Australia. I have found out something. I dug it out with God. Walking with God. In rain, in sun, in pain, and in gain. I said, God, Luke did it. Luke was able to get the message raw from the disciples. 
translated it, civilized it, a first world country it. Not, he moved it, he kind of edited it from third world country message to first world country message. And he wants so many, so why can't we do the same to improve our talents? I don't know whether I'm making such stuff. I don't know whether I'm making sense, George. Look at it. And when you do all these things, when you maintain a studious life and get knowledge of what you're doing, you wait for the Holy Ghost to empower you because you're only the witness. And when the Holy Ghost empowers you, the next thing that starts happening in your life, you start speaking through your mouth. And when you, that is done, go. You are qualified. Go out and make God know. You guys challenged with the lifestyle of Luke. He challenged me. He challenged me. You have parents that cannot understand English. You have uncles and aunties that cannot. Why not you do like Luke? Why not get it for wrong? Why not study the Bible? Then you he explain it to them. Or better still, let your lifestyle. Are we going to keep quiet? He has given us talent. Whether you like it or not, there is a talent he has given unto you. And that talent will determine your position in heaven. That talent will determine whether you'll be in heaven or not. The one that he gave five talent, multiplied it. The one that he gave two talent, multiplied it. The one that he gave one talent, did not multiply it. And he said, take him to hell. I'm challenging you, church. I'm challenging you, my children. I'm challenging you, the youth. The greatest youth I've ever seen in the whole world. The most powerful youth that are going to turn around the whole of Australia. Let's marry these five qualifications of making him known. One, maintaining a studious lifestyle through a ceaseless prayer lifestyle. Two, waiting upon him. Learn how to wait upon him. How do you know how you, that you're waiting upon him? When you see challenges, don't talk. Only say, Lord, I know you have something. You want to teach me something. Wait upon him to finish it. He that began it will finish it. Number two, you receiving the power of the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost has come upon you, make sure. And number three, make sure that the Holy Ghost has now, your mouth has been exchanged. It's no more that your mother used to gossip. It's no more that your mother, whatever you see, you talk. It's not the mouth of the Holy Ghost speaking to you, coming with power. And what are you waiting for? If you have already had that fourth qualification, Go and make him know. Church, let's stand up. I don't know. I don't know. Let me tell you. I keep on saying it. Going to heaven is no more my priority. It's not. The Bible says we are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. I don't know how I'll be in heaven and I'll still be planning to go to heaven. <laughs> it's so confusing. <laughs> Unless the Bible is lying. I don't know why so many people are still talking about going to heaven. I'm already in heaven. The day I was crucified, I'm crucified with Christ. It's no more me that lives. Where, if it is no more me that lives, it's Christ that is living. Where, where do you think I am now? I'm already in heaven. That's why the Bible says we have tested the heavenly gift. Is it possible for us to go back? Is it possible for us to sin against him again? My greatest priority is my position in heaven. You were all my boys and my girls, my youth on earth. You can't be greater than me in heaven. I put it to you every time. Whether you call it pride or you call it that's your business, let's wait until we get to heaven. Paul said I run as if I'm the only one. It's only one crown. He said I beat my body and I put it under subjection. So that I will not preach. I make it, I make both of it. Don't worry, God, you will see. And you see in this life, Standing me, standing before five million people. It was a promise God made to me in 2005 in Malaysia. 2nd of January, 2005. He said, if you are willing to preach my revelation, I will cause you one day to stand before five million women to declare the truth that I have given you. 2005. You will still see me. That is why if I tell you that I'm going to build a 20,000 seater church, it's not even... 
If my faith was big enough, it should be five million uh, uh, sitar charts. What am I telling you? Look at Luke. Luke was a doctor. You know what is happening in our community today? Go and preach to the scientists. Go and preach to them. They are the aki. They say there is no God. One of them said, Idika, can you prove to me? Prove to me, prove to me now that there is God. <laughs> I said, the worst thing I can do is to prove to you that there is God. The most foolish mistake I can do. And I said, I turned to him and said, now, nah, prove to me, prove to me in your wisdom that there is no God. <laughs> he said, I can't prove it. I said, the same way. So why do you expect me to prove? I said, you, you, you say, now prove to me that there is no God. You want me to prove to you that there is God. Now prove to me that there is no God. So he has faith a bit that there is a God. That's why he can't prove it. But God did not ask us to go and start challenging people, proving to him. You say we are witnesses. Go, share, and I will defend my word. Is it not true? Is it Read the book of Mark. Read Mark chapter. 15, verse 20. As they went. Mark 15, 20. Read. Yes, sir. Is that what he says? Choo, 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 choo. That's a very powerful Bible. That's communication. Maybe Holy Ghost has started speaking to me. Mark. Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> and when they had mocked him. When they. What? I didn't hear you. And when they had mocked him. What? Mocked him? Mocked him. Mark? Yeah, Mark 15, 15 20. 20. Yeah, Mark. 15, verse 20. Yeah, chapter 15, 20. Okay. And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple from him. No, 16, sorry. Mark 16, 20. Sorry, sorry. And they went forth. And they went. They went. They went to make him known. He preached everywhere. They preached. They testified. They were witnesses. And what happened? Listen. The Lord working with them. The Lord working with them. And confirming the word. It's not my business. I am not a protestant. I am a proclaimer of the word of God. I only proclaim the word of God. The one that protests, the one that brings his word, making it known to people, is working with me. What is it that is holding you? Look at Luke. His testimony was added as the four gospels. You're going to die with your talent? I'm going to tell you, church. It's as hard as that. That if you don't improve on your talent, you will be called the foolish virgins. You will be called. The virgins didn't commit anything. They didn't just improve their talent. They took it for granted. Are you going to open your mouth and say, God, it's not in my time. It's not in my time. It's not in my ministry. It's not in my honorable, shakeable, carry a mokodo, carry a batunde legede. I can never fail God. I can never fail destiny. I can never fail God. I must improve my talent. Remark who said it here. Through me, many will come to Christ. Through me, many will understand the gospel. Remark who said it here. If 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 Luke did it, Lord, I can do it. Eba kurakate, ma kuregede, ma beke suka baragade, ma keregede ya. My family, none of my family member will go to hell. None of my family member will go to hell. None of my friends, oh God, will go to hell. I decree, oh God, Lord, now give me the power. Lord, give me the resources. Lord, give me the grace to bring this to pass. My uh, my request before thee uh, this morning, uh, I mean this evening, uh, my request before you is that I should not lose any. I shall not lose any from my community. I shall not lose any from my family. I shall not lose any. Maraba, make it. Ma break it, Mokoria. Ma crack it, Yababa. Riba kuba ma kuseke it. Ma score koto Yababa. Me break it, Mokoro Mokoria. I cannot fail you, Lord. I cannot fail you, Lord. I cannot fail you, Lord. Ne katalia. I shall multiply my talent. I shall multiply my talent. I shall multiply my talent. I revoke Sokoto. My break it, Yababa. You have already removed every spot. Sin has been removed. Sin has been removed. Lord, I can't oh God die in laziness. I can't die oh God without studying. Without all bara baba. Me buko robo korobo korea. He barega dere bokoria. Ma baba baba baba. Rekete I cannot fail destiny. I cannot fail Jehovah. I cannot fail Laboria. Me berega de mokoria. He balaga da kata kata. Karakata makotoria. Me be 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 be. 
Remakure, Baba. I receive the resources of God. I receive the resources to end work. To finish this work. I must finish my work. Help me to maintain a studious life. Help me to maintain a studious life. Help me to wait upon you, O God. When you are willing to give me the message. Help me to wait, O God. Help me, O God. So that I will be, O God. Efficacy shall be my portion. Efficacy shall be my portion. So that I'll be able to communicate right. Ma boko to me breke boko ya ma brakam dalabala mandele gedele boko leke teke regede ya ma breke te regede he makira makoria I must finish well in the name of Jesus. Oh, you know one of the places in the Bible that makes me happy. One of the places, and that's how my story is going to end. Like my father, our bishop of Sibas, get Timothy chapter four, Second Timothy chapter four verse seven for me. Second Timothy, Nashinde Ikadia. That's how my life is going to end. I will be alive and I will declare this. I have fought a good fight. Jesus, Kabusha, Kabuya. I have finished my course. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. I've kept the faith. Continue. Henceforth. Henceforth. There is laid up for me a crown. There's a crown in heaven for me now. Of righteousness. Of righteousness. You see, I'm not, Paul was not talking about going to heaven. Paul was Paul talking about going to heaven here? He was talking about his crown, his level. Mark me, church, my children. I've told you, even in my little time on earth, you, you knew God before me. But in your knowing God, you can never be greater than me, heaven. It's, heaven, I'm not the one that created it. I'm not the antivirus there. I'm not the terminator there. To say, I'm, I'm just paying a price. Be unto you according to your faith. But I challenge you, my children, you can't. With what I've known, with what I know, you can't be greater than me, heaven. It will be a failure for me. And when we come to heaven, you, 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 I taught you, I trained you, <coughs> I was your boss on earth. No! It's a failure to me. One day I will declare to you, I will see my crown before I die. Stephen saw his crown. He said, when he saw his guy, he said, ah, <laughs> these people thought that they are stoning me. Oh. They thought they are killing me. Oh. Lord, forgive them because they don't know they have blessed me. They don't know what they are doing. Say, bless them. Look at it. Greedy start from seven again. Look at one day I will testify like Apostle Paul. It was I did it. He was alive. He said, I have done my job three times. He said, you see heaven is open. You see God saying, come be that, come be that. He said, if I die now, nobody should hold my wife. My wife did not care. It also I said it. If if I be a man of God, Kabush Kabaya, I will end my book, most qualified to break away. You will see it. I'm uh, dropping the pen, finishing it, everything, writing it, sealing it, you will see it. I will put it there. I say my time has come. I've finished my work on out. I've run the race faithfully. I didn't disappoint my wife. I didn't disappoint my children. I didn't disappoint the church of God. I didn't disappoint Jehovah. Read it. I have fought a good fight. Number one. I have finished my course. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. I kept the faith. Henceforth. Henceforth. There is laid up for me a crown. I have seen my crown. Of righteousness. Of righteousness. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, uh -huh. shall give me at the day, at that day. Immediately I die now, he give it to me. <laughs> because not, when a man dies, what for the judgment? No crown will be given to you, continue. And not to me only. Uh-huh. But, but unto all them mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. uh, that love his appearing. That's right. Do thy diligence mm. to come surely unto me. Now read verse, read verse 6 or 5. Start from 5. Verse 5. But watch thou in all things. Mm -hmm. Endure afflictions. Oh my God. Endure affliction. Wait, wait, wait. In. Continue. Do the work of an evangelist. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. That's verse 6. No, that was 5. 6, read 6. For I am now ready, ready, sorry. For I am now ready to be offered. See that. And the time of my departure is at hand. Hey! All of us, son, the Lord will call you my hand on the high. What a level. Hey! You see, I just spoke with Jehovah now. 
He has already paid my ticket. I'll be going to heaven any time from now. I spoke with my father. How many of you want to end well in Abuja? It's not by mind or by power. It's by the spirit of the living God. It's by anchoring your faith. It's by marrying the Holy Ghost. Are you getting my point? The power of life and death is in the top. Whatever you want to be in life, God, the only thing God asks us to give account of that he gave to us is only the word, which is Holy Spirit. You have the whole faith you need. Look at a man like me and you. Our Bishop Benson the horse has stood up and said, I have finished my course. I see heaven open. And when he was checked after he died, he said, I've done my work three times. The doctor said, this man lived like a man that lived 160 years. 60 times three, is it? what is it? I mean 180 years. That was what was put in his autopsy, or what, what do you call it? Yeah. He was 180 years. He lived like a man. His body is like somebody that lived 180 years, but he only lived 60 years. He went and told the president there of Nigeria, killing everybody, uh, Abacha. Nobody came to, nobody, everybody was afraid of him. So when he went and told him, I said, what you are doing, if you don't repent, go kill him. So as he was going, he wrote it. He preached it. He said, God, I cannot go to prison. I can't go to prison. Please, instead of me going to prison, take away my life. I'll be sure that was Because the next thing Abacha was going to do was to put him in prison. He said, God, I don't have the grace to be in prison. If you allow me to go to prison, I will spoil a lot of things. He, he agreed with God. Who knows, maybe when he went home, God said, okay, since you don't want to go to prison, no worries. Pam, I'm taking you home. He preached his message. He preached his benefit of death. January. January or February. He died in March. Benefit of death. He preached it and mentioned everything about it. I will die well. I, I can't die like God. I can't die like men. I will die like God. I will tell you when it's time. You will see. Forget about all the nonsense, diseases, witchcraft. Or, they can't stop me. I must stop it. A territorial apostle, for goodness sake. Not a territorial apostle in, in, the, in, the, in the first world country. Because you, you, I'm with you. No, you can't understand. But the time is coming. But you will be very glad that you were trained. You were raised by the territorial apostle. The man in charge of territory, Australia. <laughs> the whole Australia. When I say this, you think I'm joking. You think I I know myself, I know my job, I know what God called me to do. A man in a place of honor without knowledge, it's like a beast that perishes. I will finish the work. And as a territorial apostle, as the next one coming, as God says the next one, I say, I'll finish my work. Look at Paul, Peter, uh, Timothy. Take charge. Not because you're a child. Take charge. My work has finished. Don't even try bringing me back. I've already concluded with you. I've seen my plan. He will give it to me when I leave this world. How do you want to end? It's not. You have to pay a price to everywhere. What is the price? I beat my body every day. I put it under subjection. Subjection. So that I don't preach to others. I fight as if I'm fighting for one crowd. Only one crowd. Maramakoshi kaboli aboli baba. Riba baba baba kuriba. In a sober reflection, I want you to open your mouth and assure God that you will end well. Eh, masun perigede. Paul said, "My what life?" He said, "Don't try to, don't try to, don't try to persuade me." He said, "My life has already been poured out like water. I have seen it. I spoke with the Lord this morning. I communicated with Him. He has my chariot of fire is here." I will be living any time from now. My flight has already been paid. I have seen my crown. Heaven is real. Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Marakata, Holy Ghost Rogodoya, Holy Ghost Rokotoya, Mabababa, Yeah, Yoko Toko Rokoto, Thank you, Jesus. We are not beating around the bush. We are not beating around the bush. 
We know heaven is real. We know hell is real. We know judgment day is real. We know Jehovah, you are the only real thing and your world. We know, we know, oh God, we know the power to be whatever you, we want to be in life has already been released unto us. We know you've already paid the price. We know we have nothing holding us. We know it's just for us to make our decision. Lord, these are my youth. These are the generation that are going to continue. I'm going to continue with the battle. These are the generation I'm going to hand over the battle to. Lord, they shall finish well. They shall finish well. They shall finish well. They shall multiply their um, they shall multiply their talents. Lord, help us. It's not by mind or by power, but by the spirit of the living God. We want to assure you we are ready to wait. We are ready to pay the price. Do that which only you can do. Take us through that journey. We are after we have passed through the fire, we come out like pure gold. We come out like pure gold without dead to God. The fire only removes the dead. Dead, fire is for removing of the dead. Removing of something that will make you ugly. That will make you ashamed. That will make you a disgrace. Fire comes to remove those things. Lord, we shall wait until we are made pure. Until we are made pure. Thank you, God, for this generation of wonder, 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 wonder performing generation. Lord, thank you for this great youth. Thank you, God. They have passed through the level of, of knowing you. Lord, they know you already. I can attest to that. But Lord, we want to move to the next level. The next level of making you known to mm -hmm. others. The next level of making you known to others. Lord, do this for us. This is our heart cry. This is our desire. Release the strategies of God. Help us with divine wisdom to be able to achieve this. We pray and ask in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Even as they continue next week, give them divine wisdom. Even as we handle, Lord God, our TV show next week, Lord, let your power be made known. Let souls be won. Let dead be, the dead be raised. Let the sick be healed. Let those that are broken, let them be mended. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, even as we cover our listeners, everybody with the blood of Jesus. Cover every youth with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Even as we share the grace of fellowship, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and above.